We are in Arlington, Texas, right outside of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, kind of near Six Flags, is Alley Cats Entertainment. It's on the shirt. <laughs> I was going to show you the card, but it's on the shirt. We love this place. We came here last year. You guys love the video. They had two arcades. You guys remember that back arcade where we actually won that Barber Cut Light? For, I think, the first time ever on our YouTube yeah. channel, we won Barber Cut Light. Uh, we are here. They invited us back out again. We are so excited to be here. They hooked us up with this play card, so they are covering all of our play for today. So thank you so much to Alley Cats. I know they changed around a little bit, got some new machines. I already see one behind Katie that I'm excited to play. So let's check out what's new here at Alley Cats Arlington and let's win some tickets. Now I know they did not have this last year and we haven't actually seen really this style in anywhere except for the IAPA Expo. Right. This is the prize cube, how many sides? Six sided claw machine rotates in the middle, but with these extremely fun shapes of tickets. I'm not as good at timing this as Spencer is, but um, it's a fun claw and it's easy to win something because of all of the shapes. So I think, let me um, swipe in and then let me try to get my timing here. What I think is fun about this is, oh my gosh, you can see the color is what denotes the ticket value. It's not the shape. Mm -hmm. So even though you think the star might be cool, it might not be worth as many tickets as say a square or a triangle. Now there was like a couple big ticket values coming around. There is, oh my gosh, where is that one? There's a 500, it's kind of hard to get to. I think it's gonna be too difficult to get to a 500, which is like right there, you see that triangle? Oh geez, yeah. But, what are you gonna go for? I'm just gonna try to win something. I love it, so the ticket values range, oh you're a smack on a 500 there. Oh, oh, oh is it unexpected, gonna... unexpected. Oh my gosh, okay, so you won 50 tickets. That wasn't what I was going for at all. Like, that's what I was saying, This it's pretty easy to win stuff on here. Ooh, that was more flashing than I anticipated. I think I got eliminated most of it, but look at that. 50 tickets on a little diamond right away. Are you going to go one more time? I guess so, I yeah. Okay, so I, like I see that those 250 triangle. Okay, that's what I should and have And there's another for. one right here, too, but I think you might want to wait for that one in the middle. It's kind of it's, it's kind of difficult to really know exactly what you're going to pick up, because it even got a really deeper grab than I think I imagined originally. Um, so you knew, a uh, tip on this one is to wait until what you're going for is coming around, because you do have limited time. So if it just passed you, you might want to wait to start your claw. What are you going to go for? The 250. It might be a little bit too close to the middle. <gasps> oh. Oh, a little bit too early, but please. Is it going to? No way. Oh. oh. That was a 750 star that you just uncovered. How did that happen? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might be too close to the middle. Yeah. I do think, like, you know how most claws have a zone. You can't really reach on the edges. I think in this one, it ends up being the middle, um, just because you can kind of see, like, that's where that light is. Oh. Can um, I try one time? Yeah, absolutely. Here, take this. Follow me. OK. Where are we going? Right here. OK. Let's see. Are you trying for the 750? Um, oh, you're trying for the diamond 750. Yes. Okay. This side makes music. Oh, oh no, it didn't go. Oh. Oh, oh it had it. it, threw, it oh. oh, it threw everything. Look at you making a mess. Oh my gosh. Where did it throw it's still, it? It's still okay. right there. It, oh. oh my gosh. He handed me the camera so haphazardly too. Oh no, I, I messed up my card swipe. Oh, you're going to miss it. Over it. Oh, gosh. Back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. He's going for, so it's a purple diamond for 750 right over here. Ooh, that's a good lineup. It has it. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Looks like I'm the uh, big winner at this. <laughs> you are going to be the big winner. But that was so much fun. That's part of the fun of these, these shapes of this claw, that it could just go crazy. <laughs> the oh, my gosh, there's two of them now next to each other over there. Do you want to try it again? I don't. Okay. I'm going to be happy with our 50 tickets. <laughs> Holy cow, oh that God. is a heck of a monster jackpot. 24,370. <laughs> Man. I've, I've never seen anything like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the regular jackpot. Oh, I'm sorry, this game is flashing. Um, the regular jackpot is 999, um, which is probably maxed out for this location. Yeah. Um, and the two machines do, it looks like, talks to each other. They have the same monster uh, jackpot and the same regular jackpot. We have, n did we, we got the monster jackpot now once, right? Not on this game, no, we got... Uh, oh, on the non-monster version of this game. Yeah, I, yeah, it was chaos. Okay. I think I'm going to try to... Um, Scooch over? Yeah, so... Go to Space Invader Frenzy? Just remember, I have permission to do this. Um, it's a little... The, it, this game is funny because, you know, the ball hits right here, so it's a little cloudy. I'm going to come all the way through. Okay. It's coming around. Okay, I am in another game now. <laughs> oh, that scared me. <laughs> Okay, so Spencer likes to line up, that was just a five. Spencer lines up the jackpot ring with that yellow piece of plastic back there. 
Um, and then the first time he does it, he tries to like basically figure out whether he needs to go earlier or later. He uses it to adjust. So he learns the game. But at a jackpot this high, it's worth a few times. Okay, so that one looked late to us. Was that the case? Yeah. Okay, oh, are you gonna go on that 125? You are, yes. nice job, Spencer. At least one more time. Third time is usually the charm. So what he's gonna do now is he's gonna release it a little bit earlier. Oh, okay, we're still bouncing, we're still bouncing. We're rolling into the 15. Uh, one more time. Okay, one more time, he says. Okay, here comes the jackpot around. Let's take a look at it. You can tell the ball has hit right here a lot. This poor little plexiglass is, uh... Did you hit it? Oh, no, I got stuck. Hold oh, it on. got stuck. Okay. It's okay. It happens. It does happen. You just wait for it to come back around. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Okay, here we go. Sometimes the little ball elevator takes a second, like if you're playing this game over and over again. Oh! oh. And oh. over like the monster jack, but that one like in and out, where are you oh. gonna sell? 75, so not bad. And he ended up getting the other two highest values on the board. Um, so I have to walk away from this very pleased. Me too. They have a lot of good instant redemption here. Here's that barber cut. Oh. Oh yeah, we love this one. We won it last year. Um, check this out, guys. Keymaster actually looks like it pays out here. These are some nice prizes. Your bottom row is gift cards, which I actually like because it's clear to understand the dollar amount. Um, second prize, we still got some air tags and a video doorbell. Top prize, Apple TV, uh, a waterproof speaker, and uh, like earbuds or something. Those are pretty cool. I think. I think. Oh wait, that's a four pack of air tags. That, that's nice. That's what I'd be going for. Um, and then check this out. We've got our medium sized stagger with some nice prizes yeah, this in is here. Awesome. Woo! Okay, is this an iPad? iPad, yes. Bose headphones, an OLED switch. OLED switch. And then we've got like one of those Insta cameras and a Chromebook. Woo! And then, but your minor prize, um, that's pretty cool. It's 100 tickets, which is still a very fair minor prize. That's Are you going to play it once? Prize. Oh. Yeah, but should I go for tickets or prizes? You might as well try to win it. It could be fun. It There's could be stack. fun. Oh my gosh. I like this stacker because it's so big and small at the same time. I know, it's it's a fun size. I didn't even know you could do tickets as okay, like a... Okay, there we go. So there's 100 tickets for that minor prize. Perhaps only the medium one oh. has that option. You're right. And, and well, obviously the jumbo one. That yeah, because usually tickets. it will dispense um, something down there. Or I wonder if it does dispense any sort of tickets. Let's try it. Okay. You got it the first time, so you should get it again. But it says go ticket list, but I guess I'm holding a ticket ring right now, so. That's true. To get diamond. This if is you for will. science. Okay. okay. So we, we're going to take our prize. Oh, yeah. Straight onto the car. Look at that. What? Wow. That's really cool. A really cool feature that I haven't oh, really what? seen on this medium stacker. I definitely like that. I prefer that's over like a little ball or something like that. Oh yeah, that's way better than some of the like minor prizes that we've seen. Yeah, ooh, yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. And give it a whirl. A brand new game that we are so excited to see. Oh, look at that. Wow, Carnival fancy. Wheel. There's two of them right next to each other. And this is the one that we also showed you at the IAP Expo. That you can literally come all the way around and see it from both sides. The screen lights up on every single panel on both sides. Beautiful package, lighting package in this. Are you excited for this? If you collect all the letters, you get a carny bonus. A carny bonus? This is so on brand for us. That's awesome. And then the bonus tickets is 7,980. Oh, get the Nemo bonus. Oh my gosh, that's really hard to do. I remember you saying that. Okay, what's it gonna be? Oh. 60. Oh, I was bad. so close to the extra spin. You're so close. Do you want to play on the other one? I do. Congratulations. Might as well. I don't know. You got Let me 60. take this out of my hands, though, because this was a like a workout. It's a workout, yeah. I feel like I'm really doing something. Okay. It looks like they have a button if you can't push the thing, though. Oh, that's kind of nice. Like a little start button. Oh, man. It is really difficult. Wheel of Fortune yeah. style. Come okay. on. Oh, more than this 60, is a big not 40. Spin. There's a lot of big values on this board. Ooh, oh, she winked at me. 80, okay. That's better than 60. 
Yeah! We love improvement. Hey, you have a winner. I don't think we expected so many new games to be here this year. Dodgeball Ultimate Arena. You guys remember me playing this game. It is fun. It is a challenge. And this one is a true workout. It is a non-stop dodgeball frenzy with these real legitimate dodgeballs. Oh, this is a really cool game. I don't think we're going to play it today, but I definitely wanted to show it off because it is a huge new game here. Okay, right in the middle here we have Nerf Arcade. And it looks like he's in this... Is this zombies? Is yeah, everything zombies? everything's zombies. Okay, well, it's 119,000 uh, points needed to win the 500 to get Nerf bonus, which is a great Nerf bonus. I think we see 500 most often. Oh, wow! It did not, like, immediately put you in zombie. I was already in zombie. I know, but it kind of worked out well. All right, so he's about, uh, there's halfway. And you've got 23 seconds left. It's doable. It'll be a little bit close. You'll need to get a lot of those higher values there. He's playing on the, the right side, which he usually doesn't do. He said he wanted to try it today. It's weird, actually. It is weird to be on the right side. OK, you are at 100,000, 107. 110, you're getting really close, really close, really close. Oh, you're running out. Oh my gosh, you did it! Ooh. Look at that. That was on the nigga time, too. And as always, he stops playing once he's seen he's gotten it. So the strike bonus does not go up that much higher. It's jumped up to 132, 300. That's still a doable score, in my opinion. This is a really cool option. So while we were in here setting up the camera, we saw a gal with like quite a few of these. Um, there's five different ones. It's pretty cool. But it's a play until you win, and it's only 13.2 credits. Sometimes we see those um, like winner every time claws get pretty pricey. Yeah. I think this is a really affordable option and That's obviously so cool. very popular. Uh, so I think this is great. And I think it's great because a lot of the other claws here are regular like skill claws. And if maybe you're not winning and your kid is sad, this is a cool option to have to be like, okay, well, you get something. And I see over here that they do have a second play until you win. Um, <laughs> do you think I can win that one in the back? It looks like a lot of people have tried based on That's that. hilarious. Okay, so I like that. They've got at least two play until you win options. And this one here, oh, it's only 5.1 5. points. Wow, that's really affordable. Oh, there's little Care Bears in here. This is a nice variety. This is awesome. What happened to you? Yeah, it's tossed out a little early. Okay, another favorite for us. I think we played this a few times last time. I think this kind of finished our, our day off, huh. if I recall. I remember standing somewhere over here and playing something, because um, we're near the redemption counter, and that always makes me think that I want to like figure out what I want and see how many tickets I need. True. So um, a lot of 900 options in here, actually. Those are going to be the green rings. Spencer's curious about this <laughs> one leaned up against the shoot. <laughs> are you going to go for the solid? win of this one or are you going to go for the tricky one? Well, let's go for the tricky one first and then I'll fall back on the other one if I need to. Okay, he just wants to see if he can do it is what's going on. So I wonder if I like line it up how much it's going to let me drop over the chute and like grab it? Oh. Oh. Oh, see, okay, so it, it, it didn't grab it but it actually kind it, of fixed it. Yeah. We let's... were uh, just recently at an arcade playing claw machines and we were having very big debates with ourselves about how to fix things and if it's worth the the spend to True. shoot me out of here. And we think ultimately, yes, if you can oh. fix it in one move, then it's worth it. This looks like it could be good. Come on. Yes. Ooh, a solid 900 ticket win. <laughs> okay, we're going to try one more time. You want to get greedy over here? Yes. And I don't think it's going to work because okay. I, every time I'm greedy, it doesn't work. <laughs> This one I'm gonna have to try to just pick it up on one end. This claw is funny because it looks very noodly until you hit the button and then it like firms up and it's like oh, ready okay. to be a claw again. Let's see, come on. Oh Ooh, no! It got stuck on literally everything else around it. Okay, let me grab my one ring and we'll, okay. we'll mosey on over. Ugh. Check it out. Nice, I guess Spencer's doing a little bit better than me. <laughs> <laughs> The batting cages and the giant rhino, of course, why not? Beckon you over towards the putt-putt area, as well as the second arcade. And you heard that right, the second arcade here. Can you believe that, Katie? I cannot. Every time I think about it, it, it makes me so happy. I know, it's so much fun. You literally exit the first arcade, you walk along this very scenic waterway along the putt-putt path to the other arcade. Let's go check out what they got there. Oh, hello, Mr. Ostrich. How are you today? And here we are. They have the lower level, which we'll definitely take a look at in a second. But if you guys remember, there was an upper level up here, and they have 
taken out some of the games. They've added in a couple air hockey tables, wow. and they have a jet pong down there. But they've added this limitless VR. And this is something I don't think we've ever actually seen on location no. anywhere. So you take these really nifty VR helmets and these blaster type things, and it's an actual like hard course here that you get to walk through and play along with VR style. There's different game modes, of course, but you actually get to walk through this entire area. Obviously the walls are legitimate walls and they will correlate to what you're seeing inside of the game. It makes it a little more fun, I think, when you have family members with you that aren't playing because they can actually watch you like duck behind the walls or like stand behind that barrel. So I think it's more interactive when you have non-playing family members as well. And I think this was a fantastic use of space up oh, here. Oh, yeah. Like literally it's like the perfect height in here as well. Really cool. I I'm excited to see this. Oh my gosh, I already see a few classic games here that I remember from last year. We have a popcorn over here. We have our speed demon over here. We did not do very well at the speed demon last year. No. Oh wait, no, that's the barber cut machine that I want on. Oh. I thought that they had moved it over there. Is there anything here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That little wallet has a cut in it. You see it, Katie? Oh yeah. There is a cut in it. I do wonder if this machine is ready to pay out again this year. I don't know. I don't want to take that little coach wallet from somebody, so. We'll probably leave it and play some other games. Okay, we're at Speed Demon. This is a double player machine here. I love it. I love the giant marquee up top too. And this is on my list of games I want to buy. Yeah, I think we'd buy this if we ever saw it for you know, a moderate price. There are a lot of little light bulbs and things that can go wrong with it. Oh jeez, yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, switch over to the right one. I think it actually has a little bit better of a chance of uh, getting some It has a lower lights. jackpot. Oh, but see, the lights on this half are out, so I don't want you to mess oh. that up. Oh, well, me to mess that up. What do you want to do? No, we can do this one. Okay, let's do this okay. one. This is a hard game with a million light bulbs in it, I feel like. Okay. So Katie's going to pull this pinball style, like a plunger, and she has to get in one of those reds. Red, red, from... red, 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 oh, red, red. Oh, ah. come on. Yes. yes. Okay, take the camera. Okay. And so now I'm going to play the game up top. So he's trying to land it on the red arrow to keep going inward on the jackpots. Okay. Okay, so now going he's going the in the one. middle one. Okay, going for the left one. Oh. Okay, and now there's only one in this one at the top there. Whoa! Whoa! We did it! We've never done that before! We did it! We got the jackpot! How exciting! Oh my gosh, our first ever Speed Demon jackpot! Wow! Well, I'm glad we chose the right one then! That we was did it! Great! Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I've ever even gotten to the middle ring, let alone the jackpot. I think you got in the middle ring once and you got like 75 tickets. That was awesome. Yeah, our Katie's going to play Treasure Quest now. <laughs> you gotta get some more tickets. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that well. I'm not getting our ticket count up. You don't oh have my gosh! Okay job. Oh. Why can't I swipe anything? Why can't you swipe anything? Ooh. There we go. Ooh. It says spin. It sounds like the voice is coming out of him. Like the speaker sounds like it's up there. It is. Oh, why are you making me do all the crazy spinning games? Oh, first the other big wheel and now this big wheel. Okay. What are we going to get? I spun that pretty hard. I'm thinking 200. I'm thinking 75. I'm Which one is the bonus? Is it the I don't one? know. Come on. Oh. What did you say, 75? That was my guess. You were Five. three away. Oh. Man. I'm not having the best luck today, but Spencer really is. That's okay, Katie. Tucked away in the corner over here is the coolest little old smart crane. It's a candy crane. Now this is nostalgia to the max. Look at that. I love it. I love the mirror back, the graphics. Overall, this machine is so cool. I love that they're keeping this in working order. And of course, play until you win. Cause yeah, you gotta have a candy crane set to pay and play until you win. Up here, basically touching the ceiling, is Baseball Pro Big Win. And the Big Win ticket score is actually only 12 runs. That's pretty good. I've never seen it that low. So Katie, why don't you give it a shot? This uh, this place, Alley Cats here, has a lot of good jackpots. They do. Oh my gosh, did you mess up another swipe? Yes! Okay, in all fairness, this one's a little bit in a weird location. It is hard. Oh. Flip the card over. Oh. There we go. Wow, that was really loud. Oh, jeez, oh, Louise. Oh, oh, it counted wow. as an owl. Two. Double. Okay. Excellent. There's a deep drive to the left field. Let's see. Three. Oh, 
three. You're already on one run. On second scores. Okay, 11 more to go. Yep. Oh yeah, do what you did, four. Oh. No. Oh no. Two out. Two out. Okay, this is a good one. Everything is green. She just has to make it in something. Two, okay, that's another run. I'm a little nervous with two out. All right, get all the way to the left. Oh. All right. I did not do that well. You I want to see if you can two. get better than two. You got two. Let me try now. All right, let me see if I can swipe this first time. <laughs> yep. Man, it is me with this swiper too, you guys. Oh, a triple. Three to start off. Wonderful hit. Wow. There's a deep drive bouncing to the wall on the right field. I feel like Spencer has the strategy on like where to even aim it, and I'm just like, please let the bat hit the ball. Ooh. Double. He was Double. trying for that home run. I saw that, four. but at least you got a good one there. Triple. Okay, so he's up to three Final runs already. Scores. I've already beat you. He has already beaten me with no outs. Oh, what was oh, that? No. That was on me. Okay. One out. One out isn't bad. You can still get this. Oh, okay. Where did it go in? Okay. We're at a third of the way there. Four runs, four runs. You're a third of the way there. This is good. Oh! It was in and out of that home run. Okay. Okay, here's the big one. This is a good one. Double. Okay, that's okay. Okay, but I'm nervous. Single. Okay, single. We're at five. Oh, every other one. Okay, triple. Triple, triple, triple. Seven. We're Seven. Over right. halfway. Home run! Home run. Oh my gosh, we're at nine. It's a two run You need three more and no out. Oh, oh no. no. Dang it. Oh, it hasn't registered it yet, but oh. The ball is somewhere in the abyss. It must be in the abyss. Oh. Oh, it didn't count it. Oh, I still got <laughs> Man, it didn't count that first one. Oh, nine though. Oh, 180 tickets, because we had 20 tickets for every score run. That's extremely generous too. I've never seen it that high. That's awesome. That was very fun. I would play this one again, absolutely. Okay, here's one of our favorite yes. retro early redemption games, Rock and Moon Rally. Um, this one is in nice condition. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> didn't we have this whole conversation that this reminded me of like the first computer mouse I ever had? Yep, we did. We had to look it up when we got home. 2.9 points is really great, good value for this. So this time you're going to be Vapor. So that's the inside track with the little helmet. Which it would have to be easier because it's an inside track. I, yeah, I don't understand how that math works out, honestly. Nothing makes sense. But okay, um, once he starts it, it's going to make some cool noises, so let's listen in. Ladies and gentlemen, today's event, Rock and Moon Rally. I love this game. Here we go. I won by 0.2 seconds. Oh my gosh, it was so close. I literally like thought you lost. I want 15 whole tickets. Look at me at my... Wow. Look at my victory lap. Yeah, you can see the track time. 7.2 for Retro, 7.0 for Vapor. When we came up here, it was like 10.8. That was really <laughs> fast. Oh, nicely done. Whew. Okay, so at the secondary arcade over here by the Pup Pup Fun Center, there is a smaller redemption counter with lesser options, but if you're in a rush, I guess, or you don't even want to go over to the big building, for whatever reason, I don't know why that would be, because the other one is awesome as well, um, you can spend all your tickets here. But we do recommend going over to the other counter, unless you just simply don't have the time. Also, all the hanging plush. They have a Woody Woodpecker for only 5,000 tickets. Wow. That's a good deal. And Squishmallows for 5,500 tickets. That's a good deal. I also really like that boba tea container in the it middle. It looks like a lamp, potentially. Oh, I like that. All right, let's go check out the other redemption counter, though. Lucky's prizes. Okay, now this is the redemption area at the main arcade in the big building, and there is a lot of options here. There are a ton. Including 
branded t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this mug, too. Oh, yeah, that like a little soup mug. Yeah, brown mug over there. That's super cool. Drop a comment. Do you guys eat soup out of mugs sometimes? Do you eat soup out of a mug? Sometimes, yeah. We had soup mugs growing up. You did? Okay. Yeah, we had like big bowls, but I don't... Ours were just like that, but they said Campbell's. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. There's a blue one over here, too, that I like. Oh, oh. hard choice between the brown and the blue one there, as well as some shot glasses, some pint glasses. You know we're all about that, like, branded stuff. The branded stuff. stuff. Yeah, and of there's course. a lot of cute little... Oh, my gosh. What have you found? These little babies are so cute. Oh, they're little, just, like, tiny animals. I love that. You guys know that I usually just get a bunch of those at the end with however many tickets I have left. Oh, man. Very cute stuff. Okay, well, we had over 1,500 tickets from my other games. And then another almost a thousand right here. That's a lot of tickets. I think my favorite thing here today was that the jackpots were high. Um, we see some arcades start to lower those jackpots, but not here at Alley Cats. They're keeping like thousand jackpots, even more than that. And we won some of them, which is really cool. So um, I, I just, you know, I think this is a really fun place. I think that it's nice having both locations. I think it's nice that they have things like laser tag. There's a rock climbing wall behind me, the putt putt. The batting cages are very busy tonight. So many options here. This could be an entire day of fun or somewhere you come um, more than once with the family if you live in the area. But if you're just driving through the Arlington area, I would definitely make this a stop at Alley Cats. So huge thank you to Alley Cats for having us out today and providing our gameplay. And we cannot wait to come back again next year.